this is weed, pot, cannabis, Mary Jane. Ain't nothing good about what it can do to your brain. Okay, I just wanna say I have great news. I'm not gonna have any problems for a long time because I'm hot. Whenever I'm sad, I just remind myself, at least I'm still a tall, hot blonde. Like, it's like a handicap. Check this out. It's such a handicap. Like, it's literally such a handicap. And anyway, another thing I realized is that, like, anybody can be hot. You'll always be in style if you're just being yourself and being comfortable in what you wear. You know what I mean? I've just been eating so much trash food for no reason, like, just cause, like, I'm bored. So I'm trying to self-hypnotize myself into not liking pizza or wings anymore. I'll show you. So it turns out you can actually really easily reprogram your subconscious mind to be a certain way. Like you could hypnotize yourself into being anything. How cool is that? Aha, if you program yourself to not want sugar and then there's like chocolate cake in front of you, you feel the urge to not eat it, but you still do then you've negated the programming. Programming gets weaker, but if you listen to that urge and follow the urge to not eat it, then the programming becomes more effective. Just a little tidbit. So I think I'm gonna program myself into not wanting pizza or wings anymore, but I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready to do that because I don't know if I wanna give up pizza like forever. I've kind of been smoking more recently. Like this week, I conducted a little experiment. I wanted to see what life would be like if I smoked every day. Actually, I just came up with that experiment right now. I just realized that I smoked every day this week. Morning, during the day, and night, basically. I was more high than sober. Honestly, it was kind of fun. Would do it again. What was I gonna do? I've been using Spotify more recently. I don't know how I feel about the whole listening activity on Spotify. I like to see what other people are listening to, but I'm like, I don't know if I want people to know what music I'm listening to. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel kind of guilty about listening to Glee cover songs. I do. I feel like it's like a guilty pleasure. Update on my boy situation. Um, I actually do kind of like the guy that I was talking smack about in my last video, which I'll probably take down because <laughs> it's probably really embarrassing. The guy I was talking about in the last video where I was like, oh, he, he thinks I like him so much. Like, I don't even like him. I kind of do like him now, but I think it's just like a figment of my imagination. I don't like actually like him. Like I know a big part of it is I'm just like bored. I feel like I think about him more now. I shouldn't think about any boy, really. You should just never be thinking about a boy. I really see it's just a really big distraction. This morning I wrote in my journal, no weed today, moderation. Shut up, bitch. I got bigger fish to fry, I can tell a lie. If all you do is wake up and have a warm glass of water with lemon, that was a good day and nothing else needs to happen. But why not do more? Seize the day. Carpe diem. Nobody really seizes the day anymore. Anybody else realize that? I definitely don't seize the day. I should. I can seize the day by enjoying myself, by doing things that scare me. I try to do something that scares me every day, but I don't really ever do that. I'm sorry, this video is all over the place. I have no focus. If I could just focus, that is the one thing that I'm missing. I feel like I got the drive and the ambition and the creativity but I don't have the focus to accomplish anything. I think nobody in our generation can focus. Like literally nobody in our generation can focus. Maybe the smarter kids. I don't even know if it's our phones or like whatever the fuck it is, but we all just have no attention span. It's a little bit tragic because great works of art require an attention span. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Tune in next time. And don't unsubscribe. I don't like when you guys unsubscribe. If I don't get any more subscribers, it's fine. But when I see I lost a subscriber, come on. Maybe don't like this video or don't interact with it so that nobody I know finds my channel. Thank you very much. <laughs>